Alright, so we're going to look at simplifying and algebraic expressions. Now the first part we're going to look at is adding and subtracting. So let's look at an example here. 3a plus b plus 2a. Now remember we can only add and subtract terms that are the same. So 3a plus 2a will give us our 5a. And then with the plus b we simply just tag it on the end there because we cannot add it together. And there we are. Let's look at another example. We've got x squared plus x squared minus 2 plus x squared and then subtract away 2x squared. Now remember, we can only add things that are the same, so x squared with x squared with x squared. Now that gives us 3x squared. So 1, 2, 3 of them. So we subtract away 2, that gives us 1x squared. And this minus 2 here, we can't subtract away that, so we put it on the end as minus 2. There we go. Alright, so let's look at another example there. 3ab minus a plus b minus 5ab. Now, ab can also be written as ba, so it means the same thing. So let's look at this. 3ab minus 5ba is simply negative 2ab. So it's the same thing. We can subtract those because they are the same. And on the end there, we want to tag minus a plus b. Two different terms there. Um, it tagged on at the end. All right, so let's look at another example. 6efg minus ef plus 4FEG minus 3FE. And let's see, 16EFG, now that's the same as FEG, just a different order, which means we, we do have the same term there, um, but they are just in different order. So 16 plus 4 gives us our 20. Now we've got minus EF minus 3FE, same terms again. Minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4EF. And there we have it, simplified. Okay, so simplifying an algebraic expression, let's look at multiplication. Look at multiplying algebraic expressions. Mm -hmm. Let's look at 7 times a. Start with something easy. We just simply write it as 7a. We remove that multiplication sign and bring it together. Let's look at another example. Let's look at 2 multiplied by b squared multiplied by c. Again, we remove the multiplication signs. Just write 2b squared c. We've got 3a multiplied by 2b. Now we can multiply the 3 and the 2 together. That gives us 6, and then simply a and b are tagged on the end. Now that's 6ab. Another example. Let's look at x multiplied by y squared multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Well, 3 times 5 gives us 15, and then we simply put xy squared at the end. Another example. 12 de multiplied by 3f. Okay, so 12 times 3. That gives us 36, and then D, E, and F are tagged on the end there. We can see a trend sort of developing here. All right, so let's look at A times A times A. Now, most people would write down 3A here. However, that would only be true if we're adding. So here we've got A times A times A, which gives us A cubed, or A to the power of 3. Let's look at another example. X squared times X cubed gives us X to the power of 5. That's right. We start to add those indices when we have the same base value being multiplied together. Example here. 2A squared times 4AB. So, start with 2 times 4. Well, that's easy. That gives us 8. A squared times A. Well, that's A to the 1. So, that's A to the power of 3. 2 plus 1 gives us our 3. And then we tag the B on the end there. Here we go. Nice and easy. All right, let's look at 3x cubed, y squared, multiplied by 5xy to the power of 3. All right, so 3 times 5, that gives us 15. Let's do the numbers first. Let's do the x's. x cubed multiplied by x will raise the power to x to the power of 4. And then we got y squared times y cubed, which gives us y to the power of 5. Okay, our next example. Negative 3ab squared is in brackets, multiplied by negative 2a cubed b to the power of 5. Now, it's in brackets because we're multiplying a negative term with another negative term. Now, negative times negative gives us a positive, so that's positive 6. 3, 2 is a 6. Now, a times a cubed is a to the 4, and b squared, b5, is b to the 7. And there's our answer. All right, so let's look at another example here. Negative 7x cubed y to the power of 5 multiplied by negative 4 x4 y squared. So again, negative 7 times negative 4 gives us a positive answer of 28. x cubed 
x4 gives us x to the power of 7, y5, y squared gives us y to the power of 7. There's our answer. Okay, so let's look at simplifying algebraic expressions using fractions or division. Okay, so let's look at a, a simple example here. Let's look at 12x divided by 4. So what we want to do is we want to simplify the 12 over 4. Well, 12 divided by 4 is simply 3 over 1. 4 goes into 12 3 times, 4 goes into one, 4 once. Gives us 3x over 1, or in this case, 3 divided by 1 is 3, and we take that x on the end there. Let's look at another example. Let's look at 18ab divided by 10. So let's simplify 18 over 10. Well, we can halve each of those because they're both even. So that becomes 9 over 5. And then we keep the a and b on top as numerators. That's, that's where they already are. So we keep them up there as a numerator. And that's our final one. So there we can't simplify that any further. All right, let's uh, take another example. Let's look at uh, 32 a, b, all divided by 40 a. So let's simplify 32 over 40. Well, we can half 32 and 40 to give us 16 and 20. Or we can half 16 and 20 as well. Now, half of 16 and 20 is 8 over 10. Oh, well, hang on a sec. We can half 8 and 10 again to give us 4 over 5. Now, that's simplified as far as we can go. Now, we look at, can we simplify anything else? Now, a over a. Well, a divided by a is the same as saying 10 divided by 10 is 1. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Therefore, a divided by a is simply 1, which means they cancel out, and we just have b on top there. So the a's cancel out to become 1. Now we have fractions. So let's look at expanding a bracket. All right, so what we have here is we have a 2 multiplied by bracket x plus 5. So when we multiply brackets, we go 2 times x. Let's write that down. 2 multiplied by x. Brackets being multiplied, plus 2 multiplied by 5. So it's important to multiply that 2 by both terms or everything that's inside the bracket. Now, 2 times x is 2x, plus 2 times 5 is 10. And that's it. Nice and simple. This only gets difficult when we look at negative numbers or directed numbers. So, Okay, so let's look at another example here of a bracket a plus 5. All right, so let's expand this out. a times a. Now that's going to give us our a squared, remembering that we add those indices there, and we have plus a times 5. So a times a gives us our a squared, plus a times 5 gives us our 5a. There we go, we follow the same rules there. Let's take another look at an example that might be a little bit harder. Okay, let's look at 3x on the outside, multiplied by 2x, take 5. Again, we follow the same step, 3x times 2x, that gives us 3x there, multiplied by 2x, we have a subtract, so we put subtract down, then we go 3x multiplied by 5. Alright, let's simplify that now, 3 times 2 is 6, x times x is x squared, subtract, 3x times 5 gives us 15x, and there we have our final answer there.